Maybe we should go talk to Isaac about this too, because Ash is no longer around town. He's moving on elsewhere. He seemed really unhappy though, so I hope he manages to uh, make himself a little bit happier in whatever ways possible. Vesuvius! We are bar hopping tonight. Calendar? Wow, they've even got like t-shirts and stuff. Is that like a volcano? Vesuvius swag. Black tee, $14. Black long sleeve, $17. But the videos cost less than the t-shirts, what the heck? $10. Calendar, $6. Lava lotion, $8. Lava lotion. Hand moisturizer? Uh, it's got that volcano on it too. What does Vesuvius mean? Is it volcano related? Oh yeah, even this logo here is kind of like a... Um, inverted volcano, like this part is the volcano. If that makes sense. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is a little bit different from the other gloves, huh? This is... Okay. Uh, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. Is this gonna be okay? Oh, this isn't really like a bar. It's more like a... Um... Yeah. These guys are really... <laughs> they're really into it. Oh. All right. Excuse me, coming through. Do you mind? Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know if this is okay to show. I'm just gonna try to speed through this if we can. <laughs> Cindy. If you'll excuse me, I'll just be in the washroom for a little bit. Oh, okay, uh, this is not really what I thought Vesuvius was, but I guess it makes sense because Two similar bars can't possibly be right next to each other. So something had to be different between Aspol and Vesuvius. There's nothing in any of these washrooms. Oh, look what just walked in. I can't imagine you'd get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. She's a vampire. I just saw her teeth. Who are you? I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs, where we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it. Believe me. Uh, this could be a trap. It could be. How do I know this isn't some kind of trap? You'd be missing out if it wasn't. Okay. Fine. Fine. Even if I get mugged? Oh well, I guess. <laughs> Lead the way. I guess it must be pretty hot in here. Everyone's... Everyone's wearing not that much. <laughs> VIP room? Right, so this is the kind of place where the second floor would actually be a little bit restricted. Oh, wow, okay. We even got a jacuzzi here. Isn't this better? You and me alone, for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Jihad? Hmm, let me guess. You want me to do something for you? Oh... I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. It's sad, really. The way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. You made it sound like I was wrong in thinking that you were going to make me do something, but you're trying to make me do something right now, aren't you? <laughs> hmm, well... Okay, I, um, I appreciate it. Think nothing of it. I'm Velvet. Valor. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. 
And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? I don't know anything about you. Wow, we're getting treated completely differently here. In Aspol, Ash Rivers barely wanted to talk to me, but this person is dragging me upstairs into the VIP room. Can't I just ask normal questions? Why are all my... my options so... <laughs> hmm. Okay, what should I ask? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. Okay. Uh, tell me about your hunter problem. Then we'll get fingers involved. Hunters? Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. Wait, I'm sorry. You didn't really establish. Do you own this club, or are you the manager, or do you just work here, or what's going on? You sound like maybe you're the owner? Hmm, they're gone now, right? For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker, and I fired her. But she's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. If you fired her... Did she know that you are a vampire then? Do they know we're vampires for sure? I'm guessing no, because they don't have supernatural abilities. They can't really see. Although, from my perspective, all I gotta do is look at people's teeth. But, uh, no. I guess a girl was just fired for having a weapon, which is not allowed. Hmm... <laughs> Maybe I could take care of her. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. Depends. What's it worth to you? I've got a girl, Misty. She's divine, and a willing blood doll for the right amount of money. I'll set her up for you. My treat. Oh, no, no, that, that's... that's not really necessary. <laughs> uh, sounds good. What do you want me to do? You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. A vampire hunter is basically a normal human, right? So if we kill a human, wouldn't that normally be a humanity loss? But it's a vampire hunter, so it would be good for the vampire race. But we'd still be killing a person. Hmm. But she's killing us first. She wants to kill us. So it's more like preemptive self-defense. Ah, <sighs> I like the sound of that. Where is she? She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde. On top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Hmm. Okay. Before I go, I had another question. Mm-hmm. Tell me about yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you're a stripper, huh? I'm a dancer. A stripper doesn't seem... It seems like a bit of a... Is it? I'm not sure. It sounds a bit derogatory. Like it's... I don't know. I wouldn't call them a stripper. Maybe that's why she corrected me. Yes, of course. I had another question. Mm-hmm. Is Velvet your real name? It is now. How did you become Kindred? Oh, is that a bit sensitive to ask? I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. It sounds like the majority of people probably didn't have a good experience of becoming, um, a vampire, just like Ash. Ah, me too. Another question. Mm-hmm. Uh, earlier I could ask about Ash. Look who's back. Uh... What did she say to call her again? Velvet? Hello, Velvet. That's Miss Valor to you. I'm sorry. 
Had some questions. Oh, that last one. Mm-hmm. What's to do in Hollywood? Mingle, sightsee, chat, and me, of course. Another question. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about Ash? Ash. Isaac does so love him. We're like step-siblings, Ash and I. But I think Ash is reckless. He's never been comfortable with what he's become. And he's getting careless. Are you Isaac's child, too? Step-siblings. Mm-hmm. Didn't hear about you from Isaac, did I? I'm not sure. Tell me about Isaac. I adore Isaac. He's the father I never had. Why, if anything happened to him, I'd just end it all. But nothing ever will. Isaac's gifted, a saintly patron of the arts, and the most respected kindred in this city. Mm -hmm. Didn't exactly say he was her sire? Hmm, okay. Forget it, I've gotta go. Well, we have a new quest here. Hot stripper assassin action. Vivi has discovered a hunter in Hollywood, working as a stripper by the name of Chastity at the Sinbin. I've probably seen her already. She wants you to take care of her, but not kill any innocents if possible. Okay, alright. Uh, alright, okay. Did you say her name was Misty here? I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the... Um, yeah... Okay. Well, uh... Oh no, why are there so many towels here? Do I want to know? <laughs> okay, let's go. Now, Ms. Velour said that I shouldn't be using disciplines around the hunter. Probably because they're quite sensitive to that kind of thing. So if I do that, they'll probably... immediately know I'm a vampire and start attacking me. Hey, man! What can I do to you, honey? I made it out alive! You got a girl who works here with a broken heart tattoo on her back? Uh, yeah. Chastity. She works downstairs in the booth. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, trim your hedge... <laughs> I got better girls than her. She ain't exactly adventuresome. Know what I'm talking about? I'm sure she'll do just fine. All right. It's your dollar. But if you want a private show, you're gonna have to wait until the booth customers clear out. The girls don't come out for one-on-one -on -one action until then. Later. Trim your hedge? Okay. Um, we don't know which one it is, but we can check the computer. Which one is Chastity? Peep show? Sinner. Yeah, yeah. Status? Oh, what? Two and three are operational now. Was that always the case? I don't remember. Hmm. Log file? Chastity. Yeah, but which one is Chastity? No, 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 no. Does it not say anywhere? Private? Dirty dog. Right, right. No, no. I guess, uh... He did say I have to wait until the customers clear out if I want a private show. But how do I... How do I, uh, you know... Wait for that to happen? Or can I go in here? Certainly don't have a... Yeah... There was nothing in here. Dancers, log all champagne room transactions... C... R? Include tips. Report peep show revenue under PS. Password center. Oh, it's a password thing. So we know Chastity works here, but I'm still not sure which number she is. Oh, you're in here now. I'm getting a kind of a free show here too. There's a lot of girls here. This guy's getting more than one. Should I come in here? Well, according to what we saw on the poster, that shouldn't be Chastity. Oh, we want to find the tattoo! That girl! The blonde girl! We just saw it. Uh... No! No, no, no! I didn't want to pay more! How do I wait until... Yeah, it's that girl. She has a tattoo. A broken heart on her back. 
I mean, I guess I could... How do I wait? Do I seriously just wait? Don't kill innocents if possible. Well, I can't snack on them while the window is still open, cuz... Yeah, they'll see, right? This guy's not doing anything. This guy's not doing anything. He doesn't even- he's not even seeing anybody here. How do I get them to come out? Is there a key card somewhere where I can go in that location? No, 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 no. No, no. Lockdown? Oh, I locked it. So now he's gotta go because he can't watch. He can't pay. Go home, you're drunk. Whoa! We don't allow such violence in our premises here, alright? Oh, peep show window override. I see. I didn't even know you could do that. Actually, lock it? I thought it was just letting us see stuff. Okay, so this guy's gone, but what about this guy then? Is this guy's permanently here? It's a blonde girl, man. What do we do? Peep show? Unlock? Must be reset manually. Call Global Mecha Window for assistance. Global Mecha Window? Yeah. Mmm, I'm not sure what they want me to do here because I just... Well, I mean, I can't really unlock it, right? Because it's gotta be... it's gotta be reset manually. One guy left, but this guy is still here. Oh! Why do I want to lockpick this? Steal the money? 150? I mean, I'll do it, but that doesn't really solve my problem of this guy not leaving. How do I get this guy to leave? So all I had to do was wait a little bit? Oh, okay. Does that mean we're good now or what? Do I still have to pay? Uh, Flynn said... Oh! Flynn said as long as there's no customers in the booth, they'll come out. Oh, I see. I see. Uh... Hey, stop right oh, there. what? Oh my... What the hell? Whoa! Okay. How did she immediately know it was me? Be quiet! Oh! <laughs> Killed Chastity the hunter. With no loss of innocent life. Shingunto. Once again. Is that like a weapon of the hunters or something? You didn't see anything, right? I'm sorry, that was kinda... Yeah, what are you looking for, honey? Uh, nothing, see ya. No thanks, no thanks. My plan was coming in here and then locking the door and then fighting in here, but then Chastity... For some reason, the moment she saw me, she immediately knew I was a vampire. Whoa! <laughs> um, sorry about this, Flynn. I... I think I kind of um, dirtied up the place a little bit, but I'm sure you understand. I'm sorry. That wasn't very kind of me. I kind of want to drain you, but I don't want to accidentally kill you. How about I drain the other lady down here? Her back is not facing me, though. Still works. Thank you very much. 
I appreciate your contributions. And uh, nothing ever happened here. She didn't hear anything. Nothing happened here. I guess it just took the guy a while to leave or something. I noticed um, he was, he was uh, putting in money again and again and he wouldn't leave. Oh, maybe what happened here was that I took the money from the change machine. So when he tried to go get it, he couldn't find anything. And therefore he decided to leave. Was that it? Oh, wow. If so, that's kind of complicated, isn't it? Dang. But at least I'm done now. That vampire hunter was kind of tough. She wasn't even a vampire, but she kept hurting me for a little bit. You have eliminated the hunter, Chastity, for VV at the Vesuvius. She will want to know. Hot stripper assassin action indeed. Indeed. Vesuvius is actually really close by right here. Hold on. There was one thing I- What was that sound? Scared me, holy crap. <laughs> uh, there's one very important thing I haven't done yet. And that is to pick up the arm. No! No! The arm despawned! Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so sad. I took too long. Yeah, this is the right section of the sewers, right? I'm pretty sure the arm was supposed to be here, but it's... it's gone now. Oh, man. Oh, well. Maybe I'm in the wrong place, I'm not sure. I don't think I am. Yeah, no, it was definitely this place, but... Oh, I waited too long. Oh, well. Anyway. Miss Velour wants an update, apparently. Here? Look who's back. Miss Valor? Yes. About that hunter. Mm hmm. That hunter is dead. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. It's unfortunate it had to be this way. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. <sighs> this girl, this woman, talks kind of like Flynn at the Sin Bin. But going on a different vector, if that makes sense. <laughs> Me too. Mm, you're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. <laughs> Hmm, don't worry, I won't. I had a question. Mm-hmm. Tell me about yourself. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's it. Okay, well, it was very nice speaking to you, Vivi, Miss Valor. Poor, poor David Hatter. What? Who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? You mean the guy over at Lucky Star? Huh. <laughs> the Bush administration? <laughs> inner beasts and elder monsters. A movie about the game industry? He stole my idea! No. It's about Kindred. The <laughs> details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Death? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less-than-silent partner must be... executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. It sounds like you're making me do a lot of the grunt work for you, VV.
Hmm, you want me to kill Hatter and his source, right? No, I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. I thought you were asking me to do it because you didn't want to kill David. But if you weren't going to kill him anyway, then can't you find out the guy yourself? Hmm, this sounds like a problem you're trying to pawn off on me. David's such an endearing and creative fellow. If I did this personally, I'm sure he'd never speak to me again. And that would just break my heart. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. Hmm, leave it to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. I'll come back with David's screenplay. And hopefully David will remain alive. Man, this lady is making me do so many things. Even more than Isaac. Like, I haven't even... I haven't even had a proper conversation with her yet. And she's like, hey, Vlajling, can you go do this for me? And she keeps talking like this to make you want to do it for her. <laughs> B-rated writer. David Hatter is a writer who works as a night clerk at the Lucky Star Motel. He has written a screenplay about kindred society with an unknown collaborator. The manuscript and the collaborator must be destroyed, but Vivi wants you to spare Hatter. This makes no sense though, because David is the one who wrote the script. So, if you destroy the manuscript, he can write it again. <laughs> Even if he doesn't have a collaborator, because he already, like you're not wiping out his memory. So this kind of sounds like a case of that woman being a bit biased. Freaking chicken! That's some good effing chicken. Quick, buddy, go your own way. Okay, we're back here again. Hey, man, remember me? Third time I'm coming to the motel tonight. Hopefully, I'm not annoying you too much. Night eating you? About that manuscript you were telling me about. Have an extra copy? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. Mm, I know a few people interested in making a vampire pick. You do? Man, that's fantastic! I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Don't worry about it. Say, any co-writers or collaborators? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. It's a he? Hmm, don't you think he wants to be famous too? I mean, who doesn't? But this guy, from what we were talking about with him last time, he seems more of a... Um, he was kind of an elitist gatekeeper about being a writer. So I feel like he might want to hog the fame. But okay. Don't you think he wants to be famous too? I mean, who doesn't? Okay, okay, he's a guy, he calls himself Julius, he lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative, you know? I, I love how his mind works. In Santa Monica? Thanks, I'll be leaving now. You have been successful in your quest to obtain David Hatter's collaborator's name. It's Julius, one of the thin bloods that hangs around the beach in Santa Monica. Oh, which one is it? I hope it's not the one I told to kill the POTUS. Is it the other one? The not E one? The one that's, um, he had a bit of a stutter? Maybe. Hey, baby. Need company? Hey, so now we have a reason to go back to Santa Monica yet again. Okay. Need a ride? Let's get all this done before we go to that one, that gold way or a king's way or... Oh, right here, 609 king's way. Hold on, okay? I'll be there ASAP. Hey, guys. Oh, everybody left now. E and Lily. And the woman, the woman left. Huh. What, 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 what do, you, do you want? 
You Julius? No, 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 no. <sighs> Have you been telling a mortal about us? Please, I, I, I don't, I don't, 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 don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean, I didn't mean to. I, I don't, 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 don't understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Hmm, I don't want to kill him. Yeah, because even for me, if I violate the masquerade, I get five chances. And this guy, he's a thin blood. He doesn't even know what's happening, and I can't feel bad for him. You know what the penalty is, Julius? Do you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please, please, I'll never do it again. Dude, I don't want to kill him. Do I have to? Julius, the punishment for talking is death. No, 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 no. Oh, God, oh, God. They are my rules, you understand? Please, find your heart. Please, find your heart. If I let you go and they find out, I could be risking my life. <laughs> You c could let me go. I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. No, I don't want to, like, threaten him. If you leave, if you leave and never come back, I'll let you go. If you did, you would have to leave and never, I mean never, come back. I, I, I will... I will. I, I promise. Please, but find your heart. All right, you leave L.A. But if I see you again, ever, I'll kill you on the spot. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. Remember, Julius, never come back in this lifetime. Leave immediately. Well, I kind of broke up the friend group here, huh? One went to kill the POTUS, one's leaving LA. He and Lily are... Where are they going again? Oregon or something? <laughs> you allowed Hatter's collaborator Julius to flee town, with the understanding he is never to return. You should inform VV that he's been taken care of. Okay, yeah, I mean... Will she ever find out? I don't know, man. I kind of had a soft spot for him and those other thin bloods too, just because, well, they're kind of like me, thrown into the fray with no knowledge. They never asked for this. Look who's back, Vivi. Couldn't stay away, could you? About Hatter. Mm-hmm. Here is Hatter's screenplay. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. I just... I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you? Tear it up for me. Sure. I don't know why I would have hesitation about ripping it up. He has other copies. Kinda feel bad for the guy, but he can write it again. Probably. It's 2004. We have computers already. <laughs> sure. Thanks. I found the name of his source. Are they... I mean, did you? Ah, okay, good. Don't say the name, okay? I don't want I don't want her finding out about it one day. It's taken care of. It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. It's kind of the same masquerade redemption. Hmm, well I don't feel like we should be like, you know, okay. The masquerade is really important, and it's always unbending. Rules are dead, people are alive, although vampires are also dead, but hey. It's the same thing as what she's doing, though. She's making an exception for not killing David because she's close with him. And I wasn't super close with Julius, but I do feel like I have a soft spot for him, so therefore, I didn't want to kill him. How much do you appreciate it? Yeah, it's not a lot, but... 
It should be enough to buy yourself something a bit more appropriate for a personal acquaintance of Velvet Velour. Money? How generous of you. Four hundred dollars! Nice! See you around, Vivi! <laughs> but seriously, do you have a... Um... who's back. Can I learn more? Please, call me Vivi. Oh. Okay, is Vivi like your... A name that your close friends use? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, I think that's it. Okay, well, very nice to meet you, Vivi. I won't be disturbing business. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye. Now we might really want to go back to Isaac, but I assume that until we go to King's Way, he's not really going to want to talk to me. So hey, next step up, King's Way. Is there anything around town that we haven't looked at yet? We can look at the map. I just feel like every time we leave town on a taxi in a new place, that's probably the end of the district, right? So I'm trying to um, catch everything before we do that. Ground Zero. Oh, that was the internet cafe. What about Metalhead Industries? Five. It's right next to me. It's this one, right? Oh. No? Okay. Just like Megahertz, maybe? Fine. Okay, well, in that case... Mmm, I got a good bit of money again? Mmm... I have a lot of random crap in my- Oh! How am I doing on points? How's my points doing? <laughs> 26 points! I've been sitting on this for- for freaking ever. Okay. Although, on the later dots, they actually cost quite a bit, so maybe 26 isn't that much. Okay. Okay. Why don't we... Why don't we get rid of the books, okay? I just wanna... I know it's kind of like, do I really, really, really need all the, the books to be read? But, you know, I I just got to do it. Research 8. And then finance was another one we also had to increase. This is only 3, so not so bad. 15. Is that okay? For now? And then what I'll do is... ABC. Always be closing. Mitch and Murray's leads to the California real estate market. This book raises your finance knowledge. Okay. Finance is the one that makes it so that I can haggle better, so that things will be cheaper. So I probably should have... Probably should have added that point before buying the gun from Mercurio. But that's okay, because we just got $400. Oh, you're joking me. <laughs> computer 4? So you're going to raise it from 4 to 5, but what's my computer skill right now? Oh my god. This is a never-ending thing. Never-ending. Although computer... Hacking better, not such a horrible thing, but... 15 points, do I want to dump it all in this one thing here? Maybe I'll wait a little bit more. How about we put a little bit into... Celerity, just to make us fight a little bit better? Yeah, how about... Move a little bit faster? Sure, and then 5 points, maybe I'll sit on it. But, we do have Finance 3 now, which gave us Haggle 5, which is... Better than nothing, I suppose. In terms of my combat skills, I guess these disciplines are more important than stuff like firearms or melee, I guess. Yeah. Both of these are kind of low, but uh, we'll, we'll live like this for now. Damn, man, I freaking raised my research and now... Computer 4. Out of curiosity, how many points would that take? I don't even know, I can't check. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Well, alright. All right, I'm sure we'll be fine. Subterfuge is for seduction. Hmm. Hoplic. I'm still not really sure what this stuff is. Soak? Yeah, I think we're fine, though. We should be fine. Damn, 26 points went by so quickly. Yeah, I was gonna go check on this guy, but I don't think... Hmm, I wouldn't think there was anything that's, um... Really new. Hola. I'd like the special. Let's try out the stuff that we have first. We just bought a new gun, but I haven't even used it yet. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of stuff. The sledgehammer. 
Is it better than what I have right now? It's a hundred dollars. Not that expensive. Lower lethality, but higher damage potential. Feet adjustment is the same. I can try it. Rate for getting that song out of someone's head. Yeah, I mean... Where did I park my car again? Oh, wait, I don't even have a car, dude. Spicoli? Wait, what's lethality, though? I'm not even sure what this is, but okay, I'll buy it. You have a name. You a special guy? I will change this to the sledgehammer. And we will see.